Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of admin training course. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to create cross object formula fields in Salesforce. But before we actually start with the demonstration part, let's just understand what a cross object formula field is. All right, so let's just have a look at the agenda for the session. So we'll understand what is a cross object formula field, and then we'll see how to create a cross object formula field and in what situations, in what conditions you can create a cross object formula field, right? And of course, I'm going to show you this with an example. All right. So a cross object formula fields are used on child objects to derive values from the parent object. All right. So if you have two objects which are connected with each other via any kind of parent child relationship. And let's say that you have a requirement wherein you want to populate something from the parent object record to the child object record, then you will create a cross object formula field on the child record. OK, so if you did not understand that, don't worry. I'm just going to show you that with an example. OK, so this is my org and let's say I have. So let's just take the example of account and contacts. So let's just first see that what is the relationship between account and contact. OK, so I am on contact object. If you want to navigate to objects, you need to click on the gear icon, click on setup and then when you click on setup you will reach here click on object manager search for contact and that is how you will reach contact okay so fields and relationship if you see we have a field called account id which is a lookup to account so that means account and contact are related to each other via lookup relationship okay and because we have the lookup on the account that means account is the parent and contact is the child okay now let's just imagine the requirement is that from the parent record you want to populate some value onto the child record OK, so in that case, what will you do? You will create a cross object formula field on the child record in order to populate the value from the parent record. OK, that is what the definition says. Now, let's just go ahead and check out the scenario that we are going to execute. So scenario is that populate accounts email on contact record whenever an account is created or updated. OK, so the requirement is that if I actually go to account and let's say let me open an account. So whenever I'm creating an account and if I provide any uh, email, do I have the email field here? All right, let me see if there's any other field. Okay, let's just take website. I mean, it's the the basic, basically the fund and the way you will execute is going to be same, okay? So rather than email, let's just take website, okay? So I'm going to make it as, because I have not kept the email field on the layout, that is why I'm just making it as website, okay? All right, so whenever I'm creating an account or updating an account and whatever value I provide in the website, okay, then, the number of contacts that whatever like you know it could be one contact two contacts or maybe 10 contacts right so whatever contacts are associated to this particular account onto those contacts i want to populate the same value which is provided on the accounts website field okay so what will you do in such case you can be you because you already know that this is your parent record and this is your uh, child object okay this is parent object this is child object so you can go to the child object create a formula field which you will actually call the cross object formula field and in that formula field you can write a logic to populate accounts website onto contact all right so let's just go ahead and check this out that how will it happen and the second point is that we are the, like the way you will create a cross object formula field is like to you know totally similar uh, to the way that you create a formula field the only reason that we are calling it as a cross object formula field because we are creating a formula field on one object and we are populating the value on that formula field from some other object right that is why we are calling it as a cross object formula field okay so let's just go ahead and create a cross object formula field on the child object which is nothing but the contact so that we can pro like you know we can populate the value on the child object from the parent object all right so we i'm going to contacts and i will go to fields and relationships and I'm going to create a formula field. So click on formula, click on next. And here, account, website. Okay, you can give any name and on the website, we can populate the return type, like, you know, the kind of value that is going to be residing into this particular field is going to be a text. Click on next. Now here is the formula editor, okay? 
Now, as we are on contact object and we are trying to create a formula field on contact object, if I click on this button, right, insert field. So these fields that you're seeing, these are coming from the contact object. You can see, right, contact and then arrow. That means all these fields are coming from the contact object. Now, what do we want to achieve? We want to populate the accounts website into this particular formula field that we are creating, correct? So we know that we need to find the account ID, this lookup field, right, we, which we just saw because um, lookup will actually give you the access of all the fields that are available on the parent object, right? So we need to actually find out this particular field into over here, okay, on the contact fields. Now, do not get confused by this field. This is a custom field that I've created. So do not get confused by these. But now you would be wondering that the field name is account ID, then why am I seeing it as account? Because every time like, you know, so first of all, that because this is a standard field that is like, you know, provided by out of the box from Salesforce, okay, and that is how they have named the API to be account ID. But as it is a lookup every time for account ID, if you are like, you know, trying to access this particular lookup fields API name anywhere, like, you know, let it be your, like, you know, trigger or whatever logic you're writing, you will be actually like, you know, in the backend, you will be accessing this particular field by account ID name itself. But here, when you're writing a formula field, you will not see the name as it is. The ID is not going to be there. Okay. It, it will only show you account. Because the moment you are trying to access anything inside the account, it changes to account dot. Okay. The ID is not going to be there. So that is why this is the field that we are actually seeing here. This account ID is nothing but this particular field because it is coming with an arrow. And anything that you see with an arrow is nothing but a lookup relationship or it could also be a master detail relationship. Okay. So the moment I clicked on arrow, now I have reached to all the fields that are available on the accounts. So these fields that you're seeing here, these are actually coming from the account object. Now, which field we are searching for? We are searching for account website, okay? Website and then insert. So account dot website, okay? So let's just go through, go uh, over through it again. So this is, this is the child object, contact object, and I am creating a field called account website on contact object, on child object. And I have written a formula, what value that particular this particular formula field should be populating. This should be populating the value of accounts website. All right. That is why we have written this. Okay. Account dot website. Now click on next. So now you would have understood that why we are calling it a cross object formula field because we are creating a formula field on the contact object, but we are populating the value from some other object, right? A cross object, correct? Right? So here, let me just do this next. And then this is fine. Let me click on save. This was account website and I will just include that particular field on the record page because I have upgraded my uh, contact record page to a dynamic form. That is why I have to explicitly include the value. Okay. So here. Account. No, it's, it's an account record page, right? Contact record page, correct? Because we are we have created that formula field on the contact record page. Sorry, contact object, right? So here, if you see account, account website, right? This is on contact. So I need to include the field on contact layout, right? And not on account. So let me just open a contact. And this is just a shortcut to actually reach out to the record page rather than actually going to the object, then opening all the record pages and then finding out the correct one that you're actually using and then clicking on edit. So you can simply open the record and click on edit page and it will actually take you to the configuration uh, in the backend. So this is my contact record page and here I will be including the formula field that I just created, okay? Account website. So let me just drag and drop it somewhere here below phone number and then just click on save. All right, now let's just go back So this is my contact and let me go to the account. Okay, this is my account and I don't have any value on the website. And here I have two contacts. Okay, let me open both the contacts. 
so this is okay this is opening in a different tab which is okay don't worry about it so i'm going to basically show you that what what's the value that, that that is there in the account website this is the formula field right and see that there is no pencil icon available here that means this field is not editable because it's a formula field and it will calculate based on the logic so for now it is blank because there is no website value available on the account right so that is why it is blank now and if i go back to the account and if i show you the other contact that is available here if i click on this one here also the account website is blank so the moment i provide a website value on the account it should the formula field that i've created on contact that should actually calculate the value from the accounts website and populate it on the formula field so website here let's just say abc the rate a dot com and uh, let me save this Okay, so this is the website value. Now, if I open both these contacts, then I should be able to see this particular website value populated onto the formula field that I have created. Okay, so let me refresh this. So here it is, right? Account website. Now, if I go to the second contact that I had here, and here it is okay and also because formula field always like you know automatically recalculates so if you are thinking that what if i go ahead and update this value so when i update this value then the formula field is going to recalculate okay so it will update these the values account website values that i have on the formula automatically okay so let me show you that so here if i say xyz and save this and let me go to the contacts and here let me refresh this here it is right so you can see that it is automatically updated and the similar update would have happened on the second context that was available here so here you can see that this also got updated okay so if you have any kind of relationship between two objects okay uh, in which you can identify okay one is a parent object and the other one is a child object and you want any kind of value okay from the parent object to be populated on the child object then you can create a formula field on the child object and you can use the cross formula cross object formula in order to populate the value from the parent to the child object in that particular using that particular formula field all right so this is all about cross object formula fields if you are working on specific scenarios or you have some other conditions like you know where you are stuck or if you did not understand what i just showed you or demonstrated you can uh, drop a comment in the comment section and i'll try to respond all right and if you have any more questions around the same topic you can uh, ask me that as well and i'll try to respond okay so thanks for watching that's it for now and i'll see you in the next session